Hello, my name is Rod Mosby. I'm the inventor of the game 5 to 30. In this explainer video, I'm going to give you the basics on how to play this game. Now, this is a product that I sell on Etsy and it's a digital version, which means you would need to purchase the digital product and then print it out. One thing I found that was really helpful to, to save your sheets is to laminate them. That lasts really well. Some people will have, have turned the game and used it in different ways, still following the rules, but made it more exciting um, for themselves. And it may be one of those instances where you may be drinking or eating or something and you don't want to mess your sheet up. So best to laminate it. You don't have to spend a lot of money on it. After you get the prints, you can go get laminating sheets. And if you have an iron or a heat press, that'll be a way to protect your sheets. Now, I will say this, this game is for personal use only. Anyone that wants commercial rights or commercial licensings, please contact me so that we can work out something. But now here are the basics of the game. What you get when you get the digital download is you will get this player sheet. You will get a rules of the game and you will get this sheet, which tells you which round you're playing in. It's a checkoff sheet. I don't have this one. Um, laminated right now, but you definitely want to laminate this one. It tells you which rounds are blind rounds, and I'll explain blind rounds in just a moment. So the way you play the game is very simple. Each person sits down at the table. You decide you're going to be what player. I'm going to be player one. Let's say we're playing three people in this game, okay? Each person gets dealt five cards. The other people at the table cannot see your cards. You don't let them see your cards. You can look at your cards to see what you have, okay? Once you see what you have, decide where you want to put these cards. You can put them in any spot on here, here, you know, but once they're down, they're down, okay? Once you've laid your last card down, they're down, okay? There are five spots occupying this board. You're trying to win as many spots as possible, and... The way that the point system works is this. When you score a point, okay, you have some cards that are worth one point, some that are worth two, some that are only worth a half a point. If you get a full point, then you're going to use an X to signify that you won that spot. If it's a half a point, you just do that. And once you get another half, you can finish that. Or if you say you get a whole, that's two halves, right? So there's half of it, and now you've got your, the rest of your hole, okay? You're trying to win as many spots as possible. The person that scores the most points in each round is going to be awarded one extra point. That's every round. Whoever wins the round gets one extra point, okay? So there are some cards that are worth more than the others. The two of clubs is worth two points. The joker is worth one point. The number two up to 10, those are going to be worth one point. We're not talking about the two of clubs, but anything, the number two up to 10, those are going to be worth one point if you win a spot with a with one of those cards, those number cards, two through 10. Now, if you have a face card and you win that spot, face card wins are only worth half a point. Okay. So pretty much like war, some of those, you know, the the value of the cards, pretty much the same, except for, once again, the two of clubs is worth two points. Joker is worth one. Face cards are worth a half a point. And then if you win a spot with a number from two to 10, that's going to be one point. Makes the game challenging that way. Okay. Now, what happens is this right here. Player one, whoever player one is, they, they call a spot. They can call, let's say they call spot number four. Okay. Everybody turns over their card and spot. Number four, okay? You look around the board. Anybody that has a card higher than this, they win the spot. Leave the card turned over. The person that got that point, that's because that's going to be one point, If they, depending on what they win with. If it's two of clubs, that's two points. If it's a joker, it's one point. If you win with a, with a number, that's going to be one point. If you win with a face card, that's going to be a half a point. Once you win the spot, you automatically mark it on your score sheet, Okay? Mark it on your score sheet. Then the next person will call the next spot. Let's say this is round one. In rounds, all the odd rounds, one, three, five, seven, so forth, you get the blind. 
So let's say caller uh, player two says spot number two, but then they decide, hey, I want a blind before anybody turns the card over. I'm going to call a blind. I'm going to slide this card over here to a new, new uh, start a new stack. And I'm going to pull this card. I can't look at it, but I'm going to put that card right there. And since the number two spot is the one that we call, I can turn that card over. So I have a five. Now, if the five doesn't win, I didn't help my I didn't help my chances at all. But just between you and me, let's see what we traded that out for. Seven. See? Might have been able to win that spot. We went from a higher card to a lower card. But that's what happens. When you when you call a blind, you're taking a chance. You only get one blind per odd round. Everybody gets one in odd rounds, but you only get one pull. So you have to use it sparingly. They don't carry over to the other rounds either. Okay? But now... Whoever wins, whoever scores the most points, they get their points plus one extra point. You mark it up here. And there's no set number of rounds to play. You play as many rounds as you have to until somebody scores 30. And don't get discouraged if you start out in the hole and somebody comes out and they, they've got 15, 16 points and you've only got one. As those cards begin to change, all of a sudden your fortunes could change also. Believe me. I've passed this game around to different people and I've seen different scenarios where people were losing and they came back and the game was so tight. There are a few other rules in the game, but those are the basics right there. Um, if you're interested in buying this game, like I said, you can get the digital print on my Etsy page. That's at Artistic with Appeal. Okay. Um, once you download it, it's for personal use. If you want to use it for commercial use or commercial licensing, please contact me and I, I'll work with you. Hopefully you've enjoyed this explainer video and we'll go on to purchase the game.